Gaga, Marcus Scribner. Okay, first we'd like to start with a sockless shoe cam. Okay. You keep your feet on those feet. Ooh. Uh-huh. Yes, work, work, play. Do you collect shoes? Um, I do collect shoes. Actually, while I was out here in New York, I hit the, the Nike uh, Soho like a ton. Shout out to them, because you know they really hooked it up. It was, it was dope. What, do you get free or do you get discounts or what do you get? Um, yeah, well actually, uh, <laughs> we do get, sometimes we get our stuff covered and uh, um, we do get to shop for free. One of the perks of being an actor. I love it, man. Yeah. Being a, being a shoe collector, it's like the best thing ever. You yeah. get free stuff all yeah. the time. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. Well, being famous on a, Hit show. Yeah. <laughs> you, know. Uh, you know. So you're 18, huh? Mm-hmm. 18. Eight, 18, yeah. So you're part of the tastemaker crowd. Yeah. So anything you do is looked at as funky, fresh, and fly. Exactly. You know, we got the drip, the sauce. We are the next generation. <laughs> you know what's up? <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> the drip would be clothing. Yes. The sauce would be accessories. Right, exactly. Uh-huh. No, I, Miss Wendy keeps up. Yeah, let's go, Wendy. Give me a round of applause. <laughs> the drip in the sauce. <laughs> so Blackish is huge. Do you, mm -hmm. you grew up in LA? Yes, I am from Los Angeles, California, born and raised West Side, let's go. Um, <laughs> But uh, I'm from LA, so being on Blackish is kind of cool because it's a Los Angeles family. Um, and actually, it kind of helped me land the part because, you know, Anthony's from Compton. So when I walked into the room. Dr. Anthony. Dr. <laughs> Dr. Anthony. He, he, Anthony. Yes, he's got his doctorate. Oh, excuse. Oh, yes. Oh, he, he, doesn't use, he doesn't use it, but I use it on him. Right. He doesn't like to flex too hard right. on, the, you know, on right. everybody. So uh, That's his sauce. Right, his sauce. Yes, exactly. the his extra doc stuff. His doctorate. The, the drip is the clothing, the sauce is everything else. Exactly. The excess. Mm -hmm. the seasoning, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Yeah. So, um, yeah, I actually, I walked into the room and I was like, yo, I did exactly what I just did here. You know, West Side and Anthony, they just thought it was so corny I booked the role. So, <laughs> it worked, it worked. Do you come from an acting family? Did you have a leg up or something? <laughs> no, it's, it's all hard work, baby, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, um, no, it's uh, it's honestly you just got to put the time in um, to get to get to where you want. I was actually working. I was an actor since the age of seven, so it was around seven years before I, I booked anything huge. Blackish was my first. Um, and you were such a little. <laughs> I mean, only because you booked it during puberty. Yeah. So we're used to him being short and young and stuff, and now all of a sudden he's 18 and manly and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was uh, it was a pretty nuts uh, transition. I remember the first poster that actually went up for Blackish was right across the street from my high school and I was just going into freshman year. Score! Yeah, exactly, score! Yes, um, yes! I remember my first encounter getting recognized, I was walking up the stairs and this football player was like, yo, you're the kid on Blackish. And I was like, uh, yeah, I was terrified. The dude had like a full beard. <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. Dude, everyone knows that dude in high school, the one with the full beard right. plays on the football team. Right, 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 right. I was, right. I was, I was terrified, but he's <laughs> like, you're on Blackish. And, it was just that it was a friendship. So you had a nice ride. Yeah. So did you finish high school there or did you eventually have to be homeschooled? Um, eventually I because took- the show took off like a rocket. We loved exactly. the show. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, I actually, uh, I did have to transition over to homeschool, which was a, a new change for me being from LA. I always just went to like, you know, normal public school. Right. Um, so it was, it was strange at first doing online homeschool. Uh, online homeschool? Online. Wow. Yeah. That's the face I made too, Wendy. That's how I felt about it. Um, and, and that's how you treat it, which is why you're here right now. Exactly. You're not in class, you're here. No, I graduated. I'm actually, uh, I will oh. be attending USC, fall 2019. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. 2019. Yeah. Because I wouldn't call this your gap year because you're actually working. I, like, right. I don't believe in a gap year. I agree with your parents on the show. Mm -hmm. I think that a gap year is for rich people who are trying to find themselves. Right. Most people on the grind don't have time for a gap damn no. year. What, what the hell is that? Exactly. So, um, I guess this is it's not a really a gap year because I'm going to be working the That's whole time. That's what I said. Yeah, I'm taking, I'm taking the... 
Exactly, thank you. I, su I support on, your claim. But um, I feel like with a gap, uh, this year that I'm taking, um, I'm just gonna continue to work. Uh, really excited to see um, what I can gain from it. Um, and then I'm just gain gonna go from to working? school. Gain from working? You know, obviously the funds, but then. Um, do you drive? Have you bought a car? What do you drive? Okay. Okay, All right. okay. Let's break this down a little bit. Okay, um, okay. I got my license a little bit later in life because you know in LA, Uber is like huge. Like I just Uber it everywhere. Here like, too, but you get your license in LA when you're 16. Exactly, you okay. can get it like 15, 15 and a half, you get permit and then right. you can get your uh, license. So you license. delayed because Uber and car service. Exactly. So easy. It's so easy. And you so... were a big star or still are. So you're like, why drive? <laughs> Except mine is this. It was more. It was more like I was drinking a bottle of water, and I was like, "Why well, drive?" But um, okay. So yeah. have you have you bought a bought yourself a car? Um, I actually uh, not yet. So when I get back to LA, we will be purchasing a car. Who? <laughs> Who's we? Well, I got to go car shopping with my dad. You know, he shows me the ropes and everything. Aww. He taught me how to drive. So. Um, I'll, and he's gonna be driving it. What you checking out though? An Audi, a BMW, Mercedes, um, yeah, I, a McLaren. I, mean, I can't. Like, what are you it, looking I, at? I want it to be a surprise, but let's just say it's probably probably Audi. I really like Audi a yeah. lot. They're kind of like a cool uh, automaker, but Kids they have his age. That's why I said Audi first. Yeah, they have the highest safety rating too. That's really yeah. technologically advanced stuff. So, are yeah, you, big brain stuff right here. Are you? Are you? Um, are you dating? Um, You're so eligible, but I don't want you to date. Like, I want you to be flexible. Uh, currently, it's complicated. Okay. Um, <laughs> we've got stuff going on. We've got, we've got, yeah, I'll, I'll leave it at that. Okay. Are you a virgin? Wendy trying to hit me with the difficult questions. Um, you don't have to answer. All right, I'll leave it, I'll leave it a mystery for the audience to, uh, okay. to decide. Okay, yes. Yes. I mean, welcome to the show. Yeah. <laughs> you know how we do. Exactly. You are so cute. You're so adorable. Thank you. Thank like, you. I, don't, I don't want you to have a girlfriend. I don't want you to fall in love. I feel like you're the kind of guy you need to date around and date often, but don't be a dog. <laughs> right. You know, be smart. Mm. Please don't, you know, bang up your Audi and let us right. see you falling out of the clubs and all that other kind don't of stuff. Don't worry, I've got my, my dad's actually right over there. Um, oh, bring my. Where is he? Yeah. Shout out Hi, to Dad. Get the camera. Hi. He's giving a wave. Yeah. Round of applause. That's a good one. For, yeah. Um, so. Is they, he your manager? No. Your chaperone. Yeah, he's my chaperone. Uh -huh. he, they keep me on the straight and narrow. Um, like I was saying, being from Los Angeles, it's kind of easier. A lot of people get blinded by the the flashing lights, and not, you know, you know, from New York and everything. So it's kind of cool to know that I have a bunch of family members surrounding me who will always make sure that I'm doing the right thing, so. Yeah, that's yeah. good. All right, so, Blackish season five, what can we expect okay. from you? From, from moi. Um, well, as you've seen from the trailer, I'm actually glad that they dropped that because uh, I, for a while I was keeping it quiet. People were like, so is Junior going to college? And I was like, Ah, let me get back to you, player. Um, but it's, it's gonna be super exciting. Junior's uh, taking a gap year. He's gonna be, as we were talking about, finding himself. Um, it should be a very interesting season uh, to see what he does. Lawrence Fishburne just brings all the jokes right on home. I mean, oh, everybody, yeah. on, everybody on the show is good, mm. but that Larry Fishburne, yeah. yeah. Lawrence, Lawrence is a definitely, he's a mentor and an idol of mine. Yeah. Uh, he grew up and a child And old enough actor. to be pissed. <laughs> so he delivers everything pissed. Exactly. <laughs> it's so, it, it took me a while to like differentiate that Lawrence Loki is using an accent on the show. You know what I mean? Like he doesn't talk like that in real life. It's like a personality. He's an amazing actor. Like he can shift in between. Let's give it. And we'll give it up for you too, Marcus. Yeah, thank you. This everybody is Marcus Scribner. <laughs> and his show is Blackish. It airs Tuesday nights at nine o'clock on ABC.